Charleston has been lovingly preserved for you and those to come. If Charleston's old buildings could talk, well, you can almost hear the voices of long-gone Charlestonians discussing the business of the day. Lured by the promise of opportunity, Charleston's first visitor settled Charlestown in 1670, now the Charlestown Landing State Historic Site. The land was hospitable, and nearby Native Americans were friendly. However, the need for defense was important, as evidenced by the existing Palisade Wall and fortifications. The winters were mild, food was abundant, they were safe. Charleston's naturally shielded harbor proved the perfect place to nurture the burgeoning market for popular goods of the day, such as indigo, rice, and cotton. 100 years later, South Carolina joined 12 other states to fight for independence from the rule of King George III. During the Revolution, occupied Charleston became the seat of the rebellious colonies. Just a few hours to the north, Francis Marion, the Swamp Fox, was transforming modern warfare while eroding the British foothold in the New World. Less than 100 years would pass before Charleston would be embroiled in another war. Shortly thereafter, a shot fired on Fort Sumter from Charleston marked the beginning of the Civil War. The Civil War devastated much of Charleston and her grand buildings, but not her spirits. Charleston's hard-earned reputation for withstanding attacks, sickness, fires, hurricanes, and earthquakes prepared her for the task at hand. You're invited to explore Charleston's rich history, preserved in the form of historical homes, buildings, plantations and gardens, the art of iron craftsmen, sculptors and artists, churches and graveyards, historic sites and forts, protected natural areas, world-class shopping, outdoor markets, and a lifestyle we can only wish for those who live away from Charleston. Stay as long as you like. We're glad you're here.